G'day wonderful skiers, in this video we're gonna look at the one way you can spice up any jumping trick to look a whole lot more steezy. Let's do a carved, blunt, uncrossed blunt, that'd be nice. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Let's start with doing some carved straight air. So if you want to, I'm gonna do some grabs to show how the carve is adding more style. Let's do carved takeoff with a mute grab. Uh, before you drop in, I like to line myself with like the left side of the jump on the turn where I'm like setting up the carve, the turn before the actual jump. And then try to take off the carve like straight down the landing that you don't like over carve and then drift too far across the landing because some people have had some accidents like landing next to it. Let's go further. A strength grab to a safety maybe. The jumps were a little smaller than I thought. I never hit them. And my skis, these are the Bent 90, were turnier than I thought, because I've actually never done any turns on them before dropping in here. So that's a good idea for you to turn on your skis first so you know what the radius is like. Okay, so that was straight takeoff. No, what? <laughs> Those car takeoffs felt all right. Occasionally, I drift a little bit, that is fine. But, you know, try to take off at the fall line. Let's spice it up further by trying to get higher edge angles and carve a little bit sharper off and it'll be harder to get the speed right and a little harder to pop. Remember to pop. Let's do it. So now we're gonna put this carve deeper down. That felt nice. Hope that looked a bit more styly. Carving a little bit harder. It can be really hard to learn anything on skis without some help. So maybe consider checking out our cams for adults. Maybe I'll see it one of them. Once you dial in the carve, straight airs or with grabs, I recommend finding a hit like this one. It's super easy to carve in and do like 90s or 270s. Early on, try to keep your head up high. Uh, to pop forwards and land perpendicular to the landing. But as we move on, we're sometimes gonna look down and enjoy a little wobble. But let's try to do it now. So I'm gonna go in pretty slowly. I start carving already here. Wind up with the upper body only. Boom. Notice how nice and like on the whole foot I landed there. That's how you wanna land and it will be quite easy to go from there to a full 270. So obviously, train a bunch of carved 90s and 180s of tiny jumps before stepping up to this medium size. Uh, what I think is important here is that you carve, look really straight, have a nice pop, and grab with a trailing hand. So when you're at 90 degrees, you can drop that shoulder a bit forward. And I think a safety grab, mute grab, are pretty good grabs for these carved 180s. Short. Too fast. So after you dialed in the carved 180s, well, it's actually not a must. You can start trying some carved 270s of a side hit, or if you're really good at the straight takeoff car, uh, 360s, you could probably start doing carved threes immediately. But don't be surprised if they feel quite a lot different from your normal straight takeoff 360s. So we keep our head up for the carb two. Wind up. That felt nice. So continue working on your carb 270s and carb threes. Head up, try to like move forward towards the landing. But let's grab that for now because this is more exciting to carve in 
keep the head up as you go in, but once you pop, you're allowed to look down at your skis and towards the landing. And maybe you'll move into a slight wobble as you carve in. It's gonna make your body have a tiny cork, but I wouldn't call it a cork yet, just a, a little wobble, kind of like this. I like to stay a little bit lower than usual. Ignore the grab earlier. Just make yourself small. It will take a fair bit of practice to learn to spin fast from a clean carb. And many people start skidding once they try doing this. But the important thing to think about here is that you try to do a normal carb, some angulation. And then when you're kind of in this position, you try to leave the hip down at this good carving position. And it's just the upper body that sets off the rotation, kind of like that. You can actually practice that while standing still like I did, or like carve across a slope, do a J-turn over it, etc. Once you get the carve 360 with a little wobble just tucked in, you can start trying to do some grabs. I recommend you do the, the most tucked grabs, like safety grabs, mute grabs, Japan in the way where you're tucked into a little uh, meatball. Let's do some grabs. Let's start with a safety. Let's go for a... Japan! A little short there. This video was shot on the Bent 90, rather center mounted. And it was a really good time. I think it's my new favorite park ski. Very enjoyable. All right, once you got in the hang of the normal carved takeoff, whatever, 180 streets, I suggest you try the opposite carve. I'll skip the 180 because I think it's weird and go for opposite carve 360. It's super wonky and it adds definitely style, but I'm not sure if it always adds style in the good way. It can be in a bit of a weird way. I haven't done this for two years, so uh, wish me luck. Oh, that felt great, though. Such a fun, weird thing to do. Ooh, I love it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn a lot more, join one of our camps down there or check out the playlist there. And uh, see you in the next one. Ciao.